Angular 1.2 introduces some pretty serious changes to animation, so when you click download and you're getting the latest version, make sure you go into the extras and get angular-animate.js. You will need it to be able to use animations now. So we'll load that in, uh, angular animate, and then also make sure that you include it in your module and you load it in. It's called ng animate. From there, you are ready to start using animations. Uh, I just have a property here called toggle, which is set to true by default. So we'll set up a button uh, with a class of button. We'll say toggle animation. And then when I click this, let's say click, we'll set app toggle to the inverse of app toggle. Then from there, if we set up a div or anything and we assign it to a class, and this class is going to be where we have our uh, transitions or animations, and we'll call it um, toggle. Sounds like a great name. And from there, we also need uh, to bind this to an ng if. We're just doing the most basic one possible. If you haven't seen ng if before, it's just going to add and remove this element based on whether this is true. So if app toggle is true, it'll create it. If it's false, it'll remove it. Anyway, so back to toggle. So we'll create a style for that. I know this is a lot of steps, but just bear with me. So toggle, uh, we'll create our transition here, which will be a linear of one second. And then as it's being created, we want it to start at an opacity of zero. This way we can fade it in from zero to one. So while it's actively, you know, it's been created and it's actively doing the transition or animation, we'll just set the opacity to one. So it's going to go from zero to one. And then on the flip side, whenever it's being destroyed or removed or it's leaving the DOM, we'll say uh, leave instead of enter. So it's going to start at one because it's starting to leave. And then when it's uh, actively left or gone, we'll set it to zero. And if I did all of that right, I hit refresh and I click on toggle animation, I probably should put some content here. Then when I click on toggle animation, it should fade in and out for one second based on this the styles defined here. So linearly for one second, starts at zero, goes to one when it enters. So it's leaving right now, so that first animation you see is this one. But then when I click again and it NGF is set to true, it's entering, and you'll see it fades back in to one. So again, the steps, make sure you get the animate script, uh, include it, then include that, uh, load that module ng animate in there, and simply use the class, there's no more ng animate attribute, and set it to uh, the class name that you're going to use the ng like a class namespaces, style namespaces on this for enter, interactive, leave, leave active. And this is just for uh, the ng if stuff. We'll cover more animations in the future.